believing fully? Well, my concern is uh, pretty much this. Somebody said the Yellow Loom was the second hardest boss in the game. So I'm kind of wondering what the first hardest is because the Yellow Loom was pretty hard. I would put it right up there with any of the harder Elden Ring bosses, in my opinion. Um, and keep in mind, this is a, a player who's already beaten Elden Ring. So I've already gotten that experience, you know? So I have a, a minor advantage, you could say. I have a bit of an advantage in that respect. There's two bosses harder than the Yellow Loom? There's no way there's two of them harder than that. Obviously, difficulty will be a little subjective, right? A little subjective. But if there's two that give us more trouble than him, I personally would be shocked. Isn't the final boss the hardest? Not always. Um, like, for example, in Elden Ring, um... If you don't include, the, like, the DLC, the final boss was the hardest, yeah, but in Elden Ring, um, the final boss of Elden Ring, I don't think anybody thought he was the hardest. Uh, the, who, who, who was it? The friggin', what was his name? The Eldan Beast? Dude was just a giant space worm, and he looked cool, but he wasn't that strong, to be honest. <laughs> Like, the Elden Beast, I feel like, wasn't that hard. Don't know if it was just me. Maybe maybe it was just me, but... I feel like the uh, the Elden Beast was just okay. It wasn't super tough. His Phase 1 was really easy, too. His Phase 1 was, like, a little tricky, but there was only really, like, I don't know, maybe four different moves to think about, you know? Um, so, I feel like it wasn't too bad for that. Um... Radagon felt more difficult. I agree. Especially now that, um... What's it called? Especially now that you can use your horse on Elden Beast. So, if you're considering playing Liza P, it's a great Souls-like game. I don't think I'm ever playing another Souls-like. I just don't think I could. Like, I tried to play Dark Souls 3 after Elden Ring, and I ain't saying it's a bad game, but I will say they made some improvements over the past 10 years. You know? Um, I think Elden Ring came out 10 years after the last Dark Souls game or something, right around that. You know, I I'm not going to say it's a bad game. I know a lot of people like it. And I probably would have liked it had I played it much when it first came out. But, you know, after playing Elden Ring, it's like the other Souls-type games, if you want to call them that. Um, they just don't feel as good. Uh, this game doesn't really feel like... A souls like um, if it is I wouldn't call it one massively increases drinking speed that's okay but this one just gives you nine drinks it's probably better um, Bloodborne yeah we could give Bloodborne a go I, I saw Kai Sennett play it a little bit he didn't look like he enjoyed it that much and I'm very afraid that the same thing will happen guys like I'm not saying it's a bad game, but I will say, like, listen, a game could be one of the greatest games of all time for its time, you know? Uh, but, Venomous Insect Armor. Considerably increase all damage dealt by poison attacks. Dude, this armor looks cool. Boy, Iron Tough Armor. Uh, I don't really use Rock Solid much. When did I unlock all these? Spirit... Skill, um, duplicates are pretty good. I'm still thinking we stick to what we got. Cloud Step could be all right. Um, yeah, I think we're, we're okay. Let's, um, make medicines. Oh, we got, we got a, a new one, but we're not going to use it. Okay, um, secret, Cloud Nest Peak. Here we go. It's really hard to go back. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. Um... Bloodborne might be good, but I did watch Kai Sennett play it. It didn't seem as though he enjoyed it that much. And I, if I were to guess, I would guess because, yo, you just played the newest Souls-like game. It was probably the best one. Unless the game company got worse at making games. Um, I know Liza P was made by a different company, but unless the company got worse at making games, it's probably the best one, you know? What do you think of Remnant 2? Dude, Remnant 2 was great. I liked it a lot. 
It was kind of like a Souls-like, but it had like more action. But that one was a good game. I feel like it was underrated. Or I don't know what the ratings were, but I feel like Remnant 2 didn't pop off like crazy. Uh, but it was a really, really good game, I thought. Okay. Here we go. I didn't see a lot of promotion for it. Yeah, me neither. It was a good game, though. Um, did we get sponsored to play it? I don't think so. I played it a lot, though. It was fun. Dude, this guy looks creepy. He sounds like a chicken. Oh, that was a ranged attack. I thought he was going to dash. Oh, he just flopped on me. Okay, fine. I'll hit him in the butt. Hit him in the butt. I was going to say a different word, but I'm not going to. Oh, this is not the best, uh, not the best ability for that one, is it? He's a big stepper. Underground method. Yeah. Right, some of the clones. Yeah. Oh, that. Oh, nice. And number four, Bapa. Huge. Put on my cape, put on my cape, put on my cape. Ow. Dude, why are you going for me? I got like 10 dudes walking you. Yeah. Uh, I can't perfect dodge. Dude, guys, you guys thought I was going to need help with this guy? Maybe he's got a face, too. He's got a face too, right? He's got a face too, right? Oh yeah, there's the face too. There's a face too. Um, well, maybe I should have thought of that because I, oh wow, this is some kind of face too, man. Um, why is this kind of crazy, dude? The bosses in this game, every single one has like. In terms of scenery and introduction, it's so much more like cinema than than Elden Ring, I gotta say. Like, look at this is insane, dude. This is like the craziest boss of all time. Like, this is insane. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, my God. Wait, this is kind of hard. Oh, Jesus. I'm perfect dodging like crazy, but it doesn't matter. Okay. Oh, this is going to be tough. I have no mana left. Should have saved mana. Should have saved mana. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Okay. I wasted all my mana. Um... On the first phase, because I just wanted to burst him down. Now that I know there's a phase two, we play it a little bit safer. A little bit safer, and then we use all our mana second phase. And then no problem. That guy was insane. Yeah, he's a little tough. But uh, I, I think we got it. We just didn't know about his uh, phases. Lost 250,000 points. You thought I was going to first try that boss that gives you the option of an assistance summon? In one go? That is confidence, man. Okay. Okay. I, excuse me, sir, please roll. Dude, I, I'm pushing the button. He doesn't. Get some. Missed? 
That's crazy. Right, let's just use this to try and make sure we get that phased out. I can't dodge. No stamina. All right, not bad, not bad. Phase two. So many doubters. Hey, who can blame them? That phase two looked insane. Like, that phase shift is psycho. Like, this thing is like the god of death or something. This is nuts. Um, dude, he's summoning the red death star to kill us. Like, this is nuts. All right, buddy. Here we go. All right, we can skip it. We've seen it once. Uh, well, we can watch it. We're already this far in. Like, I feel like if this boss was in... This should be, like, the final psycho boss of the game. And it's just chapter four. Right. Uh. Heal up, heal up. Is that game? Some of the clones. Oh, my God. Dude, my clones can't even do anything. And number four hitter. That only did that much damage? I feel like that should have done a little more than that. Let me drink. I'm drinking my juice, please. Ow. Okay, should have drank my juice there. What the Let's not go in that mist, whatever. He's got a sword! Okay. Right, try it, buddy. My rock will never die. Help, I'm being barraged. Jesus, the rock is immortal. The rock is immortal, I tell you. The rock will never lose. Bring it on. Bring it on, you chicken. The rock will never lose. I'm not even going to move. I'll take it. Eh. Try this one, buddy. Eh. There we go. Fall on him. Fall on him. Fall on him. Oh, second hit. What is this move? I got potions left. Uh, oh, he doesn't, he doesn't look too happy. He's got another... Okay. Uh, we gotta do this, it's our only choice. Here's the second one. No. Okay. If we can get another four charge, we win. not lightning that was a scary boss how many tries was that like two three two three something like that he was pretty tough that's kind of scary that boss looked so cool that was intense that was the tough one i had to learn the moves for sure and they've marred you like Ooh. this dude psych is way too good am i i struggled with the yellow loon a lot that guy wasn't that bad, though. Is this guy normally like a tough boss? Or... He was such a cool-looking boss. I kind of wish he was a little tougher, you. but... It was because I had to. I yellow Loon gets turbo hard. Yeah, this guy was nothing mother. compared to the that's Yellow Loon. Sure. Is it pronounced Loong? Um... Okay. Not bad, not bad. Wait, the golden needle. 
Wait, is this the same one that but how did you get this? the pig guy was hit by? I thought it was with the hundred-eyed guai. Um. This may hmm. well be the design of destiny itself. I shall help you and restore this its power. This boss drops one of the best vessels. Consider what is this a vessel? as my token of gratitude. I don't know what a vessel is, to be honest. But she's giving us the needle, I guess, or she no, she's using it. Dude, I, I don't know. I don't understand what she's doing. I, um, we got its power. I'm not sure. Does the needle absorb powers? Didn't do that when it stabbed the pig guy. Temper sniper. Thanks for the sub. Um, A few strings dangling. Sky. No one knows whether they lead to weal or woe. Hmm. Why does everyone buy to scale them? Okay. Hmm. Game looks really cool. Hmm. Can't wait to see what loot we got. That had to have been something psycho, right, guys? Um, wait, that's it. We're out. And we still haven't beaten chapter four. The Weaver's Needle Vessel. Um, guess we can go check it out when we get the chance. All right, that's that. Let's get out of here. Uh, I'm just gonna... Do we want to walk out of... Oh, it's one of these. Re upon activation, it relentlessly homes in and attacks the enemy. Um, sure, I, I mean, I, it doesn't really say, like, the needle? All right, we'll see. Uh, I don't really know what to expect here. Should we just take the teleport back, guys? Uh, I feel like we should. It's kind of, or do we walk? I don't know. Double-combed rooster blood. The cape finally got replaced. Yeah, I mean, we got another one, but the, uh, the cape gives you focus, which is really, really good. I'm just I'm gonna teleport, man. It's it's uh probably easier. It's like Yondu's needle from Guardians of the Galaxy, the movie I didn't watch. Yeah. Yep. That is a movie that I didn't watch. Um. Let's uh let's go back and spend our. Did we unlock more things? Okay. What do we got? Using the gourd while poisoned removes poison and increases move and crit chance. Can we combine that with the death stinger and then... Yeah, let's just try it. I don't know. Maybe... This could be Pipiga, but... So this thing inflicts poison. This removes poison and then increases our move speed and crit chance. So... Does it just do both? I think it did it. What's our crit chance now? 19%? Huge. That's not huge at all. 